Well, good morning, folks. Today we're doing red deer. So for those of you that are exploring Alberta, it's about an hour and a half, hour and a half, 90 minutes from Calgary. And you park at the tourist center. I'll have coordinates for you in the description and a map as usual. There's plenty of parking, plenty of facilities. Let's see what it's like. Nice and tree lined. Better watch my speed because that's quite a steep downhill. I really do enjoy the sun that comes through the trees in the morning. Time to stand up a bit and pedal. Seems to be in a bit of a woodlands, like a park. Our first bridge. This bridge takes us over the Red Deer River. This really is a nice early morning ride. I decided to get here early to avoid the usual foot traffic that you find most places. Oh, this is so lovely. Driving here, I was wondering if the distance and the effort was going to be worth it. But so far, it seems it has been. Really shaping up to be one of my better rides. <laughs> Coming difficult to pick, which is my best. I can't tell you much about red deer other than it's sort of midway between Edmonton and Calgary. Most people just use it to fill up with gas. But I'd read an article somewhere that they had some wonderful cycling, so it was intriguing and I had to come and have a look. And so far, it's paying off. Nothing special that you need to know other than always bring a full battery because you never know what you're in for. And so far the trail's in good condition. It's not all that difficult. This pathway is amazingly well sheltered. It's the trees and shade all along the pathway. It's quite beautiful. Next bridge, crossing back over the Red Deer River. Oh, this is really nice. It's not exactly single track, but it is a dirt track. Wide enough for multi-use. Just keep your speed down. Well, this is lovely. So glad I came back and did Red Deer again. This whole section I didn't even know existed. It's quite breathtaking, tall trees. 
I'm riding along in second gear, which I think is ample for the conditions. The motor groans a little bit because its RPM is not in its optimal range. And it's getting very little power, just over 100 watts. Morning. Do yourselves the favor. If you're ever in Alberta cycling, or you live in Calgary or Edmonton, you've got to do this ride. It's well worth it. Such a treat. The tourists, the cycling Alberta, this is one you got to put on your to-do list. It's beautiful. The people around here are so friendly. I guess that's the difference between a huge city and a smaller one. We've got a bit of a climb ahead of us now. I like to keep the speed above 15 kilometers per hour. Keep the motor cool. Steep incline here. Let's see. Hopefully we don't slip out. There we go. Steep climb ahead of us. Might actually have to walk. Testing a new theory where I've turned the power down. Keep the cadence up. Can I stay around 15 kilometers per hour? Seems so. That's my breath. Okay, we are now on the road for a small stretch. Although we're pushing into the wind, this seems like a relatively bike-friendly road. Not a lot of traffic at all. Looks like we have the beginnings of a bike lane here. Yep. Dismount and walk. Okay. Those of you that need McDonald's, Starbucks, you name it. There's a whole shopping area here where you can do your thing. You stick to my map, so far it's been great. A couple of twists and turns that take you back into a sort of a suburban neighborhood. But this takes you back into the, the little forested area. And again, the foliage provides you with this incredible shade. So you can probably come through here on a hot day and it's not going to exhaust you, dehydrate you. Modulate the brakes as we go down here. Rather have a controlled descent than hit the bottom corner at full speed. Morning. Morning. There's no having to look for e-bike approved signs, which I think is absolute nonsense. 
other bikes are allowed, we should be allowed. We're slowly making our way back to the, the vehicle, our starting point. Looks like it could be their main river frontage. Ah yes, you can stop here for a beverage wheelers bicycle repair if you need to. You can get a coffee. Okay, bike lane on the road. But to be fair, they've done a great job of linking it all together. And that, folks, is the end of the ride. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. And I'll see you again next time.